Chính thức quý vị có được hướng trong cái chương trình ngày hôm nay thì uh, chúng ta đang trong cái uh, xe đi uh, về hướng uh, phi trường uh, Trong những ngày vừa qua ông uh, Jack Thompson đã có dịp để gặp con gái về trên con đường đi ra phi trường để mà đi về lại Mỹ Mr. Jack Thompson, in the last few days, there's a lot of uh, good feeling that you see your daughter again but it's very tough to say goodbye. Very tough to say goodbye. Yeah. Um, it was what made it a little easier was the hope that she will be in America in three or four months. Right. Hopefully we're praying that she is. Yeah. Can you picture that 51 years ago when you left Vietnam that not going to be you know, like, like this? It's a no. Different, different picture, no. right? <laughs> No, 51 years ago when you left Vietnam, you were fully fit young man <laughs> and in a, in a full U.S. Uh, uniform, right? Right. Yeah. Now you uh, left Vietnam this time. Uh, I'm, I, I appreciate uh, your friendship with me uh, as a fellow American. Uh, we're going to uh, go back to... Uh, good civilization right well i don't know this this has been a, i don't know if it's not a it's not a bad civilization it's different from america but it's been a real good experience for me again being mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. uh, very different being with family uh -huh. let me let, let me uh rephrase that what kind of food what kind of experience that you have in the last eight days very emotional I, the food I, I mean the food, oh, the, and food? the food and the people that you met beside your family you know i'm surprised at all the kindness mm, from the okay. people okay uh, i'm really surprised there's no road rage here uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, everywhere you look at home you would be telling people about the close calls you had uh -huh. having an accident or near accident and here it's just driving but people very close driving very close but you know no accident no accidents uh -huh. and and very uh kind to one another uh driving uh even though they know how to maneuver they'll mm -hmm. pull in front of you but they'll let you pull in front of them too i'm not i'm not going to ask you about your uh, private life in the last eight days in Vietnam with your daughter, with her family and everything. I'm not going to ask that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you in general, what is the most memorable thing that you remember about Vietnam this trip? My daughter's cooking. I'm saying, I'm, 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 the most <laughs> memorable besides my family. Yeah, like a, what you, is you're the like most, a tourist, like what a tourist is the guy. Most memorable. Uh, oh man, it's hard to say. There's been so many things. Uh, just the people, the, the amount of people in small places. Uh -huh. It's just there's just so many people, yeah. so many people. I it, it amazes me. Like I asked you before, where do, where do they all work? Mm. It's how do they make a living? Mm -hmm. uh, but now that I think about it, probably the most memorable uh -huh. is the people that live on the boats. The round boats oh. that go out yeah, and yeah, yeah. fish all night, fishing all night. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. in and sell their goods during the morning yeah, yeah, yeah. and then sleep on the boats until it's time to go out yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably one of the most memorable things. Something really different from our uh, daily life in America, you know. Uh, yeah. I can share with you, Mr. Thompson, that uh, I don't have the luxury living in America where people serving me my breakfast every day. I mean, sometimes I try to work and eating and drinking my coffee 
on the way to work and, and, and grab some junk food so I can get some good food on the way to work. Here in Vietnam, I have time to enjoy it, to start out my day. Yeah. I work harder when I'm in Vietnam, but I have a better meal, a be better service than to prepare my day. Don't you agree on that? I do agree. There's so many places <laughs> to buy food. <laughs> so many, every corner, uh -huh. there's a place to buy a different type of Vietnamese food. Yeah. Uh, noodles and rice are in abundance here. Okay. We're we talking about one to, one to ten. If you have to evaluate your trip to Vietnam, what would the number that you give? If I evaluated my trip? Yeah. Uh, I, I, probably the I don't know. The only reason I'm here right now is because of my daughter and uh -huh. grandchildren. Yeah. So that's a 10 plus. That's a 10 plus. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so difficult because uh, it's not fair because, uh, you know, as a Vietnamese American, I have the adventures, I have the language, the culture, and I go back and forth. Because of what I'm doing the work. Thưa quý vị, chúng tôi chia sẻ với tất cả những gì mà ông Jack Thompson gửi cho chúng ta những cái lời nói, những câu, những tâm tình của ông Jack Thompson. Ông đến đây với một nguyện vọng là gặp con ông, ông toại nguyện. Toại Nguyễn đã gặp được người con của mình sau 51 năm Và bây giờ ra đi rất là khó khăn Nhưng mà rất là hạnh phúc là ông biết rằng Dài tháng nữa Con gái của ông cũng sẽ được Đến Mỹ Rồi Đại gia đình của ông Sẽ không phải chia ly nữa Và cái hạnh phúc nhất là Chia sẻ được Ngoài cái phong tục tập quán, những thức ăn và việc nhất Nhưng trong chuyến đi này rất là đặc biệt Đặc biệt là ông Jack Thompson đã trưởng thành trong cái tuổi 72 tuổi Ông đã trưởng thành, trưởng thành là ông đã mở ra được con đường mới yêu thương nhiều hơn, tôn trọng nhiều hơn và chia sẻ nhiều hơn cho gia đình của ông. Chúng tôi cảm ơn tất cả quý giả của Hương đã theo dõi chương trình của chúng tôi trong những ngày vừa qua của chuyến đi này với lại gia đình của ông Chắc Tham Sư. Xin kính chào tạm biệt và hẹn lại cùng các quý vị và hy vọng rằng chúng tôi sẽ kết nối được những cái thành công, những cái hoàn mãn của những người như ông Jack Thompson và những con người con đang còn kẹt và ở lại Việt Nam. Xin chào tạm biệt.